I wanted to show everybody something new that I've got installed and I'm still working on configuring for iPads for elementary school teachers. And these are the two apps that you see on this part of the screen right here, the Classroom and the Teacher app. Classroom is Apple Classroom, and it will let me pick a class that I'm a teacher of, and I'm trying to set it up so all the third grade teachers are uh, teachers of each other's class so that even though I might be Miss Niss and Miss House's kids are in my room, I could click on that and open up that class. Now, they would be showing all online if I was on the same Wi-Fi as them, which I am not. I'm over in my room. But I would be able to click on it and actually see what they're doing on their screen. And when the students leave, I go to the three dots here and say end class, and then I go back to my other class. So classroom is how I can see actually what my students are doing on their iPads at the time that I'm on. And again, I click the class. When I'm done, I hit that three dots and hit in class in order to get, go back to that. So that's what Apple Classroom is for. My other app that's been added is the Teacher app. The Teacher app lets me create lessons uh, and limit where students are going on their iPads at the same time. So I could go to the teacher app and I'm going to see the same classes. They look a little bit different and I could pick Nissa's class. And now this was actually made for remote learning, so I should see them and I do. I see all the students. In this case, um, it's made so that I could teach classes from anywhere to anyone that's anywhere else. And that's why it shows online, even though um, I'm not on the same Wi-Fi as them. So with this one, it allows me to make lessons and restrict where students can go and what things they can open during that lesson. Now, um, I can show you what a lesson does. So I can create a lesson. And when I go to create it, I can name that lesson. So I can say uh, Google Docs. because that's all I want them to be able to do while they're on this particular lesson. So I can go to all my apps and I can say Docs and I can say Google Docs is one of the things, anything I check is allowed by the way. So I could say Google Docs, maybe I want them to find it a little easier. So I'm gonna say Google Drive as well. Um, and then I'm gonna go back so you can see those are allowed apps up top. And I can click and I can add any other apps that exist in the system to their allowed apps in there. I can also add links to places I want them to go during the lesson. So I can put a title and the actual web address they want them to go to while they're in there. I can say, you can't do any of these things while you're in there. I'm going to uh, turn off the camera, the app store, all these things I'm just turning off while they're in this lesson. And then I can hit save that this is going to be a Google Docs lesson. Now you can see it says Google Docs. Now if I'm in my class, I can go here and say start lesson and now I see a lesson show up. I'm not going to do it because she has students in that room and I wouldn't want to do this to them. But I could say, hey, for the next 20 minutes, we're going to work on our, our papers in class on our Google Docs. So it's going to clear all the restrictions I just put on are going to clear after 20 minutes. I'm going to pick that one. And if I hit start, every student in Miss Niss's class will then be restricted to just go into Google Drive and Google Docs for the next 30 minutes, or I'm sorry, next 20 minutes on this actual lesson. I'm not going to do that, like I said. There's some cool stuff. I can get their attention if I want to. I basically blanking out all the iPads and making them look up at me. I can send messages if I want to. In fact, I can, you can see it lists everybody, but if I just want to click one person and send a message, I can type a message in there. Hey, make sure you uh, pay attention to what we're doing in class. Whatever I type in down here at the bottom would pop up on their screen. So that's what that's for. Lessons um, is really cool. The things that I'll be able to do with my class. I'm going to go in and hit leave class, leave class, clear restrictions and leave. So all those restrictions that I added will go away and I'm back to my class list here.